animals in front of the camera, but this time the situation is new for us. We and our technical devices are at least as interesting to our film stars as they are to us. We are kind of an adventure playground for the curious Kias, an object of exciting exploration and constant entertainment. Kias never had natural enemies in New Zealand. They didn't have to be afraid of anyone in all the thousands of years before the European settlers came. That explains their confiding nature. But their chronic curiosity is a different story. With the best will in the world, we can find no biological and no purposeful explanation for it. But curiosity is considered a sign of high intelligence, at least in animals. The best place to play is of course behind us. Foam rubber is truly wonderful. A never-ending soft chewing sensation. Kias are big fans of chewing gum. The lens case suffers just as all of our equipment when the playful birds get it under their beaks. They pluck it off, chew on it, and then simply leave it be exploring and clowning around. The Kias are not interested in eating. They don't swallow a single bit of our lens case. It's all about the entertainment for these funny birds. Goodness, the Kia gang is back. Now the old truck is in a bad way again. The high-spirited Kias have a head full of nonsense. Nothing is safe from their beaks. For five months we have been camping up here in the mountains, and for five months our car has been popular with the Kias as an amusement park. Today the gang of Kias is on quite a roll. And the more the hustle, the more Kias come rushing down from the mountains. He really wants to break it. Their great passion are seals. In hours of painstaking work, they remove even the last bit from the roof cracks and give New Zealand's rain a free ride into our sleeping bags. Underneath the car, there is bustling activity. There is the rear reflector, for example. Flashing glass with soft rubber rim, attraction number one for the Kias. They've found the brake cable. This is a serious concern for us. All too much vital technology is in reach of the beaks of the Kias. We think it's a fairy tale that Kias are capable of killing sheep. But if someone told us that they murder trucks, we would believe it by now.
Nothing, not even the stupidest idea is alien to the Kias. That was a special Kia style pipe inspection. The soot levels are fine. You can clearly see it on his face. And again the rear reflector. It magically attracts them. Television for Kias. Hours of excitement for the birds. We are being watched through all the windows. Our cooking program attracts a lot of interest. The Kia looks persistently through the kitchen window. That's not fair. The door seals were the only thing that still worked reliably. The terrible birds find some occupation all round. With care and routine, the parrot removes the new silicone seal. We have long since lost the race with the hard-working birds in the reign of New Zealand. The tip of the beak on the lacquer of the truck. What a beautiful sound. The parrot is visibly enjoying his annoying new discovery. Now they are playing again with the tension strap and also with each other. That's just fine with us because it protects the remaining rubber seals. We were often quite angry when we couldn't sleep because of the noisy gang above our heads. Nevertheless, the Kias gave us a lot of joy. Their unusual playfulness, their intense interest in our equipment, and of course their confiding nature. That's what made these birds grow on us. In comparison to the other animals we've had in front of the camera so far, they are much more different. They were more imaginative, cheeky, and confiding. The mountains would be quite boring without the Kias. They're the funny birds, the clowns of New Zealand. For us it's really hard to say goodbye.